Hey guys, welcome back to the tune up. Isaiah 43, 1 and 2 says, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. One of the ways that man responds to God is out of fear. The response says, I hear clearly what you're saying, but I just don't believe you can meet my needs as well as I can. Like pride, fear causes us to reserve control of certain areas of our lives and, and keep them away from God's influence. But the results can be disastrous. Let me use Tim as an example. Money was tight in Tim's family. As with many men, the pressure to keep up appearance compelled him to spend more money than he made. He knew he was running out of a financial rope. But as he overspent each month and saw his credit card balances skyrocketing, he looked for a way to help himself out. Sure, it, it bothered him the first time he padded his expense report. But he justified it by saying that he worked harder than anyone else. He came quite proficient at altering cash receipts and slipping in bogus charges. So much so that after a few months, he, he couldn't see how he'd be able to give up the extra bit of regular income. After a few months, the accountant discovered the, the discrepancies and Tim was fired. Whether it's a, a money need, a sexual need, or whatever. Fear or lack of trust in God's promises can be harsh. Whatever drives our false thoughts about God's promises can put us in a world of hurt. God is calling us to move against the fear that controls our trust. So I must ask, are you listening? Hope this helps keep you in tune for the rest of the week. But until next time, we'll see you later.